What's going on everyone? It's Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass and today and today we'll be talking about how to improve your blog rating and SEO so you can have your blog post rank higher in the search engine results, which are going to lead to more clicks and hopefully more sales at the end of the day, because you should be linking your products in your blog posts. You can do so subtly and tactfully to help generate more sales. So we're going to be going over factors that affect the SEO of your blog posts, as well as some general tips, plus some specific tips, how to boost your blog's SEO. Before I dive into it, I just want to thank our sponsor, Profit Calc, the one-click profit calculator app available on the Shopify app store. It's going to allow you to skip those spreadsheets and get back to growing your store. It's going to come with a 15 day free trial and there's a link in the description below to access that trial there. I'm also going to show a quick video detailing their full feature set. Are you a Shopify business owner who spends hours doing your accounting? Have messy spreadsheets kept you from growing your business? Discover Profit Calc, the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit displaying everything in an easy to read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify app store today. So let's first dive into our factors here. These are gonna be our factors that affect your SEO of your blog. So the first one here is gonna be dwell time. How long are readers spending on your blog posts? Are they spending a few minutes? Or are they spending five seconds because it's not what they looked for? You should be tracking these metrics in Google Analytics. Overall, it's quite easy to view. And you can see the page time. So how much time are readers spending on your page, something important to keep in mind, and you want to make sure it's higher than lower. The next one's going to be page speed. So how long is your blog post taking to render? If you're hosting your blogs on Shopify, it shouldn't take too long here. Things you should be careful about are just having images that aren't too heavy. So we have videos on our channel as well covering how to compress images. If you're just compressing a few images using a site such as Tiny PNG is going to make it really easy to compress your images, which should help speed up your page loading time. The next one's going to be mobile responsiveness. Now, again, if you're using a Shopify blog or really any website in 2022, they should all be mobile responsive out of the box here. So not too much to worry about there. The last one would be recent data. So is your blog post outdated? Was it written in 2018 and now it's 2022 and everything has changed? You want to make sure that you're regularly going back to your blog content and updating it. To make sure it is still relevant. As most of the time when people are searching for something, they want recent and relevant data that is up to date. So going back to your blog posts and regularly auditing them is a great way to make sure your data is recent. Now that we know the factors that affect SEO, let's go into some general tips for writing blog posts so they can rank higher in these search engine results. The first one is just going to be having a catchy an engaging title. You want to make sure it's matching the keyword. It's not giving away, let's say, the conclusion of the blog post here, but you want to make sure it's enticing the reader in. Clickbait has become very prevalent online, but there's a reason why that stuff is clicked quite a bit because it's hooking you just a bit into the blog title. So you want to read the article here and you're going to click onto your blog post versus someone else's. So you want to make sure you're optimizing that title there. The next one is just going to be for your blog post and that's going to be more visuals. Humans are very visual when reading content. If you're going to see a blog post and it's just going to be straight text the whole way through, you're probably going to be less likely to finish it. You want to make sure you're using a lot of visuals, possibly infographics. If you have a subscription to something like Canva, they have tons of great images and graphics there you can include in your blog posts, making your content more engaging. And this will help with things such as dwell time, as well as pages visited for your blog, as it shows Google that customers and readers are engaged with the content. The next one's going to be targeted keyword research. So whenever you create a blog post, it should be targeted around specific keywords that you want to rank for in the search engines. And so you want to make sure you're writing your blog post using these keywords in mind, and this should help you rank for said keywords. The last one is just going to be simply a good reader experience. You want to make sure that your blog posts are formatted nicely. There's not a ton of spelling errors and that the spacing is correct, just so the reader isn't confused when reading your post. Now let's dive into some specific tips here for SEO. The first one is going to be to use one to two long tail keywords in your title and strategically put them throughout your blog post. The reason why you'd be focusing on long tail keywords is that they're going to be easier to rank for. In terms of the difference between short tail and long tail keywords, the main difference between them is that long tail keywords consist of four or more words, while short tail keywords contain one or two words. So long tail keywords are more targeted queries, whereas short keywords are broad topics. Long tail keywords make up most of the search volume on the internet, making up around 70% of search queries. And it allows you to be much more targeted with your blog posts. So the next specific tip we'll look at here is alt tags with images. So you wanna make sure you're labeling all your images with alt tags 
so Google has understanding what the images are about, as well as visually impaired readers. This is going to make your images just better overall, and you're going to help rank them in Google, as well as improving the ranking for the blog post. So if you're in your blog post in Shopify, the way to add alt tags is simply just to add them when you're inserting an image. I'm going to click on this image here, and it's going to say the image alt text. And you simply just want to describe what that image is about. So here it's going to be a beach sunset with surfers, and you just want to enter that in. And when you hit insert image, that's going to save the alt tag there. The next one is going to be optimizing your title and meta descriptions. So in terms of what that is, so if you're to search up something here on Google, you get the title to the overall section, as well as the description of what this page is about. This can provide really good information for the potential reader, helping them decide if they want to click to your blog post here. So you can also use some of your targeted keywords in the title and the description there to help give the reader context, as well as boost the ranking for your blog post. The other one is simply going to be linking to other posts. And this is going to keep readers on your blog for longer as you can provide really helpful related content similar to how you have related products at the bottom of a product in your Shopify store you should be doing the same with your blog posts this is also going to help your Google content rank higher or so your blog posts rank higher as Google is now going to have an understanding of how your site is linked together and so linking within your website is a positive action you can do so overall this concludes the video on improving your blog ranking for your Shopify store we looked at factors that impact your ranking, general tips, as well as specific tips. So hope you enjoyed these. If you did, I would love it so much if you hit that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment. I also also mentioned ProfitCalc again, the one-click profit calculator app available on the Shopify app store. And there's a link in the description below to access a 15-day free trial. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in our next video.